I'm Kristen Eurison and this is Enemy News. Wolf Mother, the hairy, proggy Aussie rock trio have split up. Following rumours that the band had fallen out, their record label have issued a statement saying that the split was down to long-standing frictions, explaining that the bassist Chris Ross and drummer Miles Heskett had decided to walk out over personal and musical differences. However, the statement went on to say that frontman Andrew Stockdale will continue to use the Wolf Mother name and will look for new musicians to complete the band's lineup and start work on a new album before the end of the year. The Verve's Richard Ashcroft is set to go solo again. The singer has said he plans to return to recording his own material, despite his reform band being on the cusp of releasing their first album in 11 years. I will continue my solo stuff, the frontman told Zane Lowe in a Radio 1 interview, adding that he only reunited the Verve because he thought it would be a shame to leave so much talent dormant after they split for the second time in 1999. Burial, the anonymous London producer and nationwide Mercury Music Prize nominee, has finally unveiled his true identity. In a blog on his MySpace page, the enigmatic producer has posted this photo of himself and also revealed that his name is Will Bevan and that he lives in South London. Prior to Tuesday's post, Bevan had recorded and released his music anonymously, refusing to be photographed or allow the few journalists who spoke to him to give his name away. Bevan, whose album Untrue is favourite to win the Nationwide Mercury Prize next month, explained his decision to out himself was because his previous attempts to mask his identity had actually drawn more attention away from his music than revealing it. Time now for two big album updates this week. First up, Kaiser Chiefs have announced that their forthcoming new album will be out on October the 13th and be called Off With Their Heads. The Mark Ronson produced record will be crammed full of collaborations with guest spots from Lily Allen, New Young Pony Club and UK rapper Sway. Meanwhile, Kings of Leon have unveiled the full track listing for Only By The Night. Talking to Enemy this week, frontman Caleb Followell admitted that he was torn over the band's decision to embrace a bigger sound on their fourth record because he knows it will erode their underdog status. For the full track listing, plus interviews with both bands, pick up the issue of NME on sale now. And finally, despite Noel Gallagher telling NME this week that he would like to go for a beer with Jay-Z, it seems that the rapper just can't put his differences with the Oasis guitarist behind him. Jay-Z delivered a line dissing Gallagher and mocking his hit Wonderwall, live on stage on Wednesday night. During a guest slot at New York's Madison Square Garden, Jay-Z rapped, That bloke from Oasis said I couldn't play guitar, someone should have told him I'm a fucking rock star. He then changed a the line from Gallagher's 1995 hit Wonderwall to Today is the day that I'm going to throw it back to you. The spat began in April when Noel said that hip-hop stars like Jay-Z shouldn't be headlining Glastonbury. Head to enemy.com now to watch the clip of Jay-Z on stage on Wednesday and to read the rest of the week's music news. That's it for this week. See you next Friday. Goodbye. <laughs>